Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntoff. So today I'm gonna walk around the Tropicana uh, Hotel again. There's, they started demolition, so we're gonna head on over there and see what's been done so far. It is Monday, May 6, 2024. So right now I'm across the street. I'm on. I'm in front of the Excalibur. This is Las Vegas Boulevard right in front of me. And then down this way, that is Las Vegas Boulevard in the Tropicana. So today I wanted to see what they're doing. If we look over here across, you can see there is some, they got some equipment there. So they are jackhammering the parking structure that was on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Reno. So that's torn down and then I think I saw that around the other side they start tearing down some of the main entrance so we're gonna walk around and see what's going on but over here you can see last time I was at her they were putting the posts up for this uh, construction wall so they got a, a lot of it going up with the wood and the stuff like that so we're gonna head over there and see what's going on. Let me zoom in. We can see through this opening here. You can see part of the parking structure. It's going pretty quick. So I did see on the news that the city has granted the owners of the Tropicana site, they are giving them the okay to demolish the Tropicana from what I heard so far is that they did not submit it to try to get a permit for uh, implosion yet so we're still waiting to hear on that if they're gonna implode the property or not you know where they blow it up but they did get permits to demolish it though so it is coming down one way or another all right, I'm going to head across the street and we're going to check out what's going on over here. All right, I'm on the side of Las Vegas Boulevard here. You can see the parking structure since the last time I was here is pretty much just destroyed. got that big backhoe loading up the debris into the big dump truck. Sorry for the sun in your eyes, but when we move down a little more, we got the, you can see they're breaking down right here. This is all that's left of the parking deck.
right, this used to be the main entrance, the valet area. So I will go around the other side from here. You can't see, but you can see they're starting to tear some stuff down back in there. I just wanted to show this side. We could zoom in a little better than with my other, with my phone. This is my regular camera now. So you can see all the sides. So it appears like they've painted. I think these panels used to be black before. But you got all of them. You can see all the paint cracking off. I did see some pictures. If you saw my video when I went in like a couple weeks before they shut down, they have the stained glass. Over, it was over the the table games pit. I did see some pictures where they were taking it apart piece by piece, so there's still a chance that that will get used somewhere. I don't know if it'll be put into the new hotel they're going to be putting up on this site. I don't think it would be part of the uh, new A's stadium, but you never know. Alright, so I had that footage you saw of the big giant uh, jackhammer so they're tearing that parking deck down that was down this way here he's right behind the sign there so I'm wondering what they're gonna do with some of this neon I mean I know it's not a regular neon sign like by itself but we do have the neon museum the old boneyard for all these signs I would think they gotta have one of these Tropicana signs going in there. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna work my way over to the Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard side to try to see if we could see this demolition they did over here. If you look through here, you can see it. Something's just laying there. And then even down this way so we're gonna go around see if we can get through that way and see what it is all right we're now on the this will be the north side the Tropicana side and you can see the main entrance here they got it tore up it seems kind of weird it's just like in it seems like random stuff they just start tearing down and then it's just left here so this would have been the main valet area where you would drive in. It's really good we could get close just because of the way they have the people bridges and then there's no sidewalks right along this corner so they have to let us come in this way. So we could get up pretty close. See all these Tropicana signs, I'm surprised they didn't take any of them off yet. I guess they're just going to destroy them all. So that would be cool to have stuff like that. You know, that one's not too big. It could actually get put in my garage. Alright, so this you can see all underneath here. They just knocked it down. But then we're going to look at the building. They're starting to take some of the walls off. see right here so they went a little more than halfway up so this is the part I don't know if they got to do that for the whole building before they if they do implode it I'll go to a different angle so we could see inside there better but And it is very bright behind me. I, my viewfinder, I can't really see on it too well.
All right, I am now on, this is Tropicana right here. This is right, you can see the MGM Grand. So this used to be the entrance to Tropicana here. They got it blocked off now. You can see right here the sign. So I'll show where I was. So I was down by this tower here. This is the one right on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana. And then these are the old original motel rooms here. You remember last time I was walking all through there, but now they got security driving all around. That's why I dug out my camera so we could zoom in. All right, so they have all the, you can see they have all the uh, uh, like sliding doors and stuff taken out. And then if we look up at the other tower there, You can see over here they're starting to take out the window area of some of these rooms also. It's hard for me to tell but that kind of... The viewfinder is really hard to see but that kind of looks like a bobcat they got inside there. Could be wrong but... All right, so that's what it looks like they're gonna do is they're gonna take all the windows and everything out and just go all the way up and just pretty much make it the the concrete uh, shell. That way if they could implode it, you know, all that glass and stuff, they can't have all that in there to fly out, I'm assuming. Could be totally wrong. Again, I'm not a uh, contractor or anything, but that's just what I'm thinking. All right, we do have someone walking through there, but they got a lot of big equipment going through these parking lots right now. It is gonna get harder to film them because I could see they're getting ready to put the construction walls up all around this place. So I'm gonna have to get, try to outsmart them and get up high. I guess I'll be trying to go I don't know if on this parking deck I could go to the roof at the Oyo. We'll have to see. That'll be a good view if I can. And we'll just try to, we'll find ways to get some shots for everybody. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You'll get updates on the demolition of the Tropicana as well as the construction of the new Hayes Stadium. So that'll be a few years of footage there. We got the A's aren't going to start playing here until 2025 season. So we're four years away. All right, I'm going to walk down a little bit more here. Looks like try to figure out what they're doing in this lot by the Oyo. We're going to head this way a little bit. All right, I got a little bit better view of what they're tearing out on the second tower here. So I'm going to swing around here. This is the, this would be the, uh, what would it be? Northwest parking lot, the farthest parking lot over. So we can see over here, they're getting ready to put in, they're actually digging the holes right now for the posts. So they'll have the wall going up on this side. So you can see they got their auger and digging the post holes and then they got some of the posts already sitting over here so that'll be blocking this entrance but then if we swing around over here you could see a lot of uh, pieces of the concrete when I was walking here I did see one of the big dump trucks 
they came over here and dumped the concrete over here so from what I'm thinking is they're breaking it up in the smaller pieces before they you know before they uh, could get rid of it see again over here just everything just ripped out all the palm trees surprised they just cut them all down and didn't re replant them but if this was Robert Irvine's restaurant here the public house so you can't really see inside now but through the windows you can just see all the equipment they have a lot of restaurant equipment that was stacked up in there and this was the to go to valet and stuff see anyone doing anything inside these rooms but yeah they got these they fit these bobcats inside there and we got all the demolition outside so that's the video for today you can see they're doing a lot more of the demolition so please subscribe to my channel Raiders 1967 
and press the like button, comment, do all that. That helps the videos get like seen by more people and keeps me going. So thanks for watching and I'll talk with you guys next time.